Welcome to this video where I'm going to go through the process of serving out some data that in ArcGIS Server that I'm going to use in Bentley Map and a couple other clients. Um, the first thing that I want to do is I want to make this data accessible to ArcGIS Server by placing it in um, one of my database servers so that ArcMap can have access to um, this data where I've authored this map. Um, but also ArcGIS Server is going to have access to this same data. So um, I can use my ArcMap here locally to edit this data, but as I'm also going to reach out and use um, different clients over over the web to both view this data as well as edit it. So once I author, author my map, I can go through um, in the publishing process and just select some of the capabilities um, that I want to serve out with this map and data. So I have lots of different choices to serve out simultaneously WMS, the OGC Web Map Service, um, the OGC Feature Service. I've got KML options here, um, this map service. I can also choose the different um, capabilities of each individual service, such as you know whether or not they're read-only or read-write, um, and um, um, uh, essentially you know what types of layers I want people to have um, access to. And, and again here, like this WFS service, whether it's read-write. Um, I go through and just simply publish this data, um, which um, starts serving it out here on my local server. I'm going to switch gears here now and um, go over here to MicroStation. And I'm just going to go through the simple process of attaching a web map service in MicroStation, um, just base, fi base functionality here. Now, this particular web mapping service is a public service that is supported by um, Kentucky DOT's um, ArcGIS server serving out some imagery data in a WMS format. And I'm consuming that information here in MicroStation. So um, one way to um, get at this imagery service is through a WMS service that, I, that they're publishing um, over the web. Um, I've set up my coordinate system. So here inside MicroStation, um, I can pull in other services, and they're all going to line up. So I'm going to now um, switch gears and use the add-on to MicroStation from Bentley, Bentley Map, which has the new capability to access a WFS service. Now, different than the raster service, this information is going to be able to give me vector information um, out of ArcGIS server. So um, I'm also going to create a service, uh, uh, a connection to um, my local data that I'm serving out that just happens to be in the same area. So um, to create a connection to a w, WFS service, I just need to copy and paste the URL and this namespace value um, here that I'm getting from my server administrator. So I'm going to make a connection here and connect to some feature service data that's being served out locally here on my laptop that just happens to be in the same area. So I query this information into my drawing, and I now I have access to this vector information of these highways. And again, um, I can pan and zoom around here. And I have these vectors superimposed over the top of the raster information that's coming directly over the web. Um, from the public site. So let me go here and I'm just going to snap to um, one of these highway features. I'm just going to simply draw a line. So you can see here I'm just connecting to this, ra or this vector information. I'm drawing things um, on top of it. And I can you know pan and zoom around on this um, data. You can see uh, highlighting here the vectors um, that I've brought in. Next, I'm going to switch clients. Now I'm in ArcGIS for AutoCAD, um, the plug, the free plugin from Esri. Um, here I could got control over um, the functionality that appears on the ribbon, and I'm going to make a connection to that same um, service um, served out by um, Kentucky. They also serve out their data as an image service, which is different than a WMS service, but it is the same um, same information. So. I have access to the, directly to their image service um, rather than going through the WMS service. 
And so I also use the online locator service to orient me here in Frankfurt, Kentucky, um, which was the area that I was looking at in that microstation drawing, the same area. Next, I'm going to make a connection um, back to the public website at Kentucky DOT, where they serve out some vector information um, related to projects and different things um, that they're interested in keeping track of. So the, at, using the um, ArcGIS for AutoCAD client here, I'm connecting to some of this read-only vector information of past projects or, or current projects that they're working on at, in the state of Kentucky. So here I'm in AutoCAD and I have access to this vector information. Here are the attributes associated with these vectors coming from um, that public website, some other features here. So now again, I have vector information in my AutoCAD drawing. Um, so another thing I want to do is um, I want to um, go through the process now of um, editing some data. Now, um, the public website doesn't allow me to edit their data, but I have a local copy of some information in this area on my server. And so I'm going to pull in a map service, that map service that I published earlier. And I'm also going to get access to some features. So first of all, I'll pull in the, the map service, which gives me a view painted by ArcGIS server here in AutoCAD. And then I will get a connection to the features in the current view of that same data as vectors here in my map that I can edit. So I turn these the capabilities of these feature services on to be allow me to edit. So I'm a trusted editor of this data from my server. So it's going through the process of, through the feature service, pulling this information out of the geo database and here into my AutoCAD drawing. And I get a tool palette that's going to help me edit this data. So here's a list of the, of the contents in my drawing. I see I've got all of these different feature services, some of them read only and some of them um, with the ability to edit. And so you, now you see the map service appearing superimposed over the imagery from the public website. Um, and you see some of the symbology being painted by our test server. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some features. So I'm going to um, add some of these point features to the drawing. I'll just use the AutoCAD copy command. And I'm adding these entities to my drawing, but on the layer that is connected to the feature service. So then, um, when I go ahead, I can synchronize these changes back to the server and push these entities to the, the geodatabase through, this, through the feature service. And I get a, a message that it noticed that I had put nine new features on that layer, and so it's going to push those back to server. And it was successfully completed. Now watch the map service now draws those as features from the database. When I pan here back in ArcMap, so now I'm ArcMap looking at the same data. And I'm going to create a live editing session on the same data at the same time. So now I'm looking at this same map in, in ArcMap. And I'm going to start an editing session. Let me pull up the, the editing template for these same features. And I'm going to continue to make some other edits. So I'm going to be here inside of ArcMap, editing the same data at the same time. So the map service is based on this data. This editing session is based on that data. And back in AutoCAD, I have a feature service and a map service all based on the same data. So back here in AutoCAD, when I pan, you notice the map service updates. But the features that I have in the drawing um, reflect my current um, my current state. But I'm noticing there's other features in here. So I'm going to refresh um, or synchronize the drawing to get the current state um, from the geo database. So now I see the current state of these both painted in the map service as well as vectors here inside of my AutoCAD drawing. Now I'm going to continue to edit, uh, add some features, and I don't like these, so I'm going to delete those and synchronize my changes, uh, which just points out that um, feature services by design 
are have a last in win strategy. So um, whoever posts their changes last wins essentially. So I've gone ahead and synchronized my changes. Um, the map service has been updated, and when I pan here in ArcMap, I see the changes made there. Well, let's go back to MicroStation, and we're all looking at the same geographic area. So I'm going to go ahead and add a map service view into my data set here of the stuff that I've been editing. And so here in MicroStation, I'm going to take a look at um, the work I've been doing by overlaying the map, same map service. So three different clients all looking at the same data at the same time um, here overlaying the, the map service here in MicroStation. Let me zoom in. We'll wait for it to repaint there. And so this will clean up in a second. And so there, I see um, my current state of the geodatabase here in MicroStation. Okay, thanks for watching.